Hi, sweetheart. Hi, Dad. Hi, son. How was your day? Oh, fine. Nothing unusual. There were so many when I got home from school today. They fixed the telephone. Really? What was wrong with it? Nothing. Only now you can call anywhere in the United States without going through the operator. It works swell. Like if you want to call Aunt Sally in New York, you just dial a number, then you dial your regular number, and the phone goes diddly, diddly, diddly. <laughs> we live in a wonderful world. <laughs> Aunt Sally was sure surprised to hear my voice. <laughs> Oh, thank you, my dear. Oh, I think I'll have two just to celebrate. <laughs> <laughs> my goodness, Mr. Wilson, I'd celebrate, too, if someone offered me $2,000 for a coin collection. Well, I simply can't quite get over it. I merely put an ad in that coin collector magazine. And the next thing George knew, he had a call from this Mr. Sheldon from upstate saying he was coming down tomorrow afternoon. Well... $2,000 certainly is a lot of money, Mr. Wilson, but aren't you afraid you're going to miss looking at your collection? Well, if I get lonely, Mitchell, I always figure I can stare at the $2,000. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, is it time for the fortune cookies yet? Of course it is, dear. I almost forgot about them. Are your hands clean, young man? One of them is. I can save it. There's nothing like learning to save at an early age. <laughs> Hi, Mr. Wilson. Oh, hello there, Dennis. Jeepers, aren't you all excited about getting a fortune cookie? Dennis, it's a wonder I've managed to contain myself this long. <laughs> <laughs> Alice, you're first. All right. You are thinking of buying yourself something you desire. Hesitate no longer. Oh, isn't that nice? <laughs> Stabbed in the back by a fortune cookie. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy the woods, but get not lost in the forest. Now, how do you suppose they knew I was planning to play golf tomorrow? Jeepers, <laughs> <laughs> Dad. Maybe it means we're going on a camping trip. Quick, somebody open another fortune cookie. <laughs> <laughs> Your thriftiness makes a loved one happy. I think I like Alice's better. I've got an idea. Why don't you exchange? Oh, no, you don't. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, Mr. Wilson, it's your turn. Oh, my turn. All right. <laughs> uh, beware of tomorrow. Uh-oh. Oh, isn't that silly? I wouldn't take those fortune cookies too seriously. Well, this one doesn't count anyway. It's stale. <laughs> Dennis, you haven't opened your fortune cookie yet. I've been saving mine for last. <laughs> the time has come for you and your friends to help a friend in trouble. Jeepers, Mr. Wilson. That friend in trouble must mean you. Dennis, the only time I am in trouble is when you try to help me. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's time this side of the Ouija board was getting home. Oh, must you, Mitchell? Yes. Thank you for what? the lovely tea, Mrs. Wilson. And the swell fortune cookie. It was very pleasant. <laughs> Thank you. Bye-bye. Goodbye. See you later. <laughs> Don't you worry, Mr. Wilson. I won't let anything bad happen to you tomorrow. Well, thank you, Dennis. Now I can rest easier tonight. <laughs> Beware of tomorrow. Oh, fiddle paddle. Hey, Mr. Wilson. Hmm? Your afternoon paper just came. Oh, thank you, Dennis. Let's look and see if it says anything more about your having trouble tomorrow. What are you talking about? He means your horoscope, dear. Dennis, I expect tomorrow to be one of the most delightful days of my life. Then why are you afraid to look? I am not afraid to look. It's simply that I don't believe... Oh, what's the use? All right, all right. I'll... Oh, yes, here we are. Hey, Scorpio, Scorpio, yes. Well, now, how ridiculous can you get? What does it say, dear? Be extremely careful between the next sunrise and the next sunset. Jeez, Mr. Wilson, 
You're really in for it. Oh, you now, know, Dennis. Don't you worry. Tomorrow's Saturday, so I can be around all day. Oh, joy. What sort of trouble do you suppose you're in for? I don't know, Dennis, but as soon as the evil spirits communicate the message to me, I will let you know. I've got a better idea. Let's go down to the drugstore and get you weighed. Dennis, I know what I weigh. Yeah, but do you know what's on the other side of that little card? <laughs> now, Dennis, for the last time, I am not afraid of what is supposedly in store for me tomorrow. Jeepers, Mr. Wilson, you're about the bravest friend I've ever had. <laughs> Be extremely careful. <laughs> hey, oh, Martha, I, I think I'll go for a little walk. Now, dear, I hope you're not going to be concerned about those silly little predictions. Martha, I have lived too long to let a little boy's war of nerves get me all upset over a stale fortune cookie. <laughs> I'll see you later. <laughs> Tommy, Mr. Wilson's even in worse danger than I thought. <laughs> Tommy? Yeah? You all set to start guarding Mr. Wilson's house in the morning? Boy, am I. I'll meet you first thing in the morning and we'll find some more kids for guard duty, okay? Okay. And say, Tommy, be sure to bring along your atomic disintegrator gun, too. What good will that do? It's busted. Bring it anyway. Maybe the news hasn't gotten around yet that it's no good. I'll see ya. <laughs> and please watch over Mom and Dad, and Tommy and Margaret, and especially good old Mr. Wilson, because he's supposed to have an awful tomorrow. Over and out. Over and out? I heard a policeman say it on television when he hung up. Well, I doubt if he was speaking on the same network. Now, let's hear you sign off in the good old-fashioned way. Okay. Amen. That's better. Good night, Mom. Good night, dear. Young man, what's that bump under your covers? Bump? What bump? This bump. Oh, that bump. I thought I'd better keep an eye on Mr. Wilson in case they try to get to him during the night. <laughs> What a miserable night. I didn't fall asleep till 3 o'clock. Then I had a nightmare about Dennis stuffing me full of fortune cookies. Oh, <laughs> you poor dear. <sighs> you know, Martha, if I knew how to get hold of Mr. Sheldon, I'd tell him not to come down here today. Oh, George, you're just tired. Why, yesterday you were all excited about selling your coin collection. Oh, I still am. It's just that I've about decided this might not be the best day to complete the transaction. George Wilson, I'm surprised at you, giving in to these silly predictions like this. Well, Martha, that's not true. Didn't I get up this morning, even though that magazine on astrology advised me to stay in bed all day? George, forget about that gibberish you've been reading. You're going to have a perfectly lovely day. Oh, you're right, my dear. Of course I'm going to have a perfectly lovely day. That's the spirit, George. Oh, George, are you all right? Sarah. You see, Martha, you see? It's starting already. <laughs> George, anyone could have. Two, three, four, hop! 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 Margaret, you're on a step! I am not everybody else. Oh! Hop! Two, three, four, It's a 
only Dennis and his friends playing soldier, dear. Oh, well, I wish they'd hurry up and get shipped overseas. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Martha, I think I'll go see if the mail has come. All right, dear. <laughs> oh, good grief. Little boy, go home. <laughs> Great Scott. You're not supposed to shoot him, Seymour. That's good old Mr. Wilson. Dennis, I'm afraid you and your small friend will have to find somewhere else to play today. Oh, we're not playing. We're guarding you from harm. Well, thank you, Dennis. But that'll be quite unnecessary. <laughs> what hit me? A shingle fell off the roof. Martha! Oh, Martha! <laughs> How's your head, dear? Huh? Oh, my head's all right. <laughs> George, why don't you spend some time with your coin collection? It'll be the last day you have it. Martha, I'm afraid to touch my coin collection. I'm afraid to touch anything today. I have the most awful premonition that anything I start will end in complete disaster. Hey, Mr. Wilson! Oh, and to top it all off, Dennis insists upon guarding me. <laughs> What is it, Dennis? A mysterious stranger left this for you and ran off. Oh, is that so? Boy, he sure was mean looking. He was even meaner looking than you. <laughs> <laughs> sure that your friend stays off my flowers. You're not just going to open that box, Mr. Wilson. And why not? Sheepers, have you forgotten what day this is? Maybe there's a bomb in it. I think I hear a clock ticking. I'll get a pail of water. Oh, Dennis, now you stop being silly. A bomb. Oh, For the last time, I want you to take your squad of commandos and go home. But my fortune cookie said me and my friends were supposed to look after you today. Well, if you don't stop looking after me, there won't be anything left to look after. Okay. But we'll leave Tiny here just in case. Uh, all right. Dear. Oh, that's just a package, Martha. Well, aren't you going to open it? Open it? Oh, yes, of course, I'll open it a little later. George Wilson, what has come over you? Oh, 
Oh, nothing, Martha. It's just, oh, no, 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 no. Don't. But why? Well, for one thing, how do we know what's inside? I, it could even be a bomb. A bomb? Oh, really? Well, all right, Martha, if you insist, I'll open it. I... <laughs> Why, it's my new hat. How do you like it, dear? Oh, it's very nice, Martha. George, don't you feel just a little foolish? Like the village idiot. <laughs> now then, why don't you go out and take a nice quiet walk? And when you come back, you'll be all relaxed for your visit with Mr. Sheldon this afternoon. All right, my dear, I'll do just that. <laughs> oh, how ridiculous can a grown man get, huh? Have a good time, dear. I will, Martha. And you can be sure of one thing. This is one Scorpio who's not going to have the rest of his day ruined. <laughs> <laughs> Next time. <laughs> <laughs> 
The correct title was Sharing a Love Seat with You. I knew it! I knew it! You sure are having a terrible day, aren't you, Mr. Wilson? Would you like to have another piece of candy? Little boy, go home! Mr. Wilson, I'm Philip Sheldon. Oh, Mr. Sheldon, come in, come in. Thank you. <laughs> Dennis. Dennis. It's all right, Seymour. I think Mr. Wilson knows him. <laughs> well, right this way, Mr. Sheldon. The collection's right over here. Children, if you'll excuse us, please. Come on, man. We'll be right out. In case you need us, Mr. Wilson. <laughs> Your children? Oh, my goodness. Oh, Mr. Sheldon. Now, I'm sure that after you've examined the collection... Here you are. That's a check for $2,000, but you haven't even... Mr. Wilson, I consider myself an excellent judge of character. I have no doubt that this collection is precisely as represented. Well, my goodness, that was fast, wasn't it? My my, two thousand dollars! Psst! Psst! Yes? That doesn't look like money to me, Mr. Wilson. Oh, this isn't money, Dennis. It's a check for two thousand dollars. Now, uh, I'll get the collection together for you, Mr. Sheldon. I have an uncle who writes toy checks. Toy checks? Dad says they bounce like a rubber ball. <laughs> what strange misconceptions children get. <laughs> well, Tommy, when they say a check bounces, that means it isn't any good. Keepers, it does. <laughs> Gee, Mr. Wilson, aren't you even going to drop that check? Drop it? To see if it bounces. <laughs> I assure you, young man, that that check is perfectly good. Of course it is. Then how do you know if you haven't tried to bounce it? Now, Dennis. Uh, actually, the proper way to make sure a check is good is to call the bank and find out, and I'm sure that Mr. Sheldon wouldn't mind if I do just that. Well. But, Mr. Sheldon, I... If that's the way you feel, goodbye. <laughs> What you boys made me do. My collection. Why, that scoundrel took my coin collection. See, Mr. Wilson? My fortune cookie said me and my friends would keep you out of trouble today. <laughs> And so, because of Dennis and his friends, the crook didn't get George's coin collection after all. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> maybe there's something to these fortune cookies after all. Well, maybe so, Mitchell. But I've still decided I'm much happier not knowing what's in store for me tomorrow. <laughs> oh, I'm in favor of them myself. The one I opened yesterday got me a new dress and shoes to match. <laughs> Hi! Is it time for the fortune cookies yet? I suppose so, dear. Say, Mom. Is it all right if I invite a little friend in to have a fortune cookie, too? Well, of course you could, dear, but I'm afraid there aren't any left. Oh, well, Alice, do me a favor and uh, let Dennis's friend have mine. Keepers, thanks, <laughs> Mr. Wilson. It's all right. You can come on in and have a fortune cookie, too, Tiny. <laughs> Here, Tiny. Hey, not the whole cookie. Well, what do you know? Well, what does it say? Beware. You are about to lead a dog's life. <laughs> Jeepers, Mr. Wilson. This fortune cookie must be meant for you. <laughs> <laughs>
This has been a Screen Gems film production from the Hollywood studios of Columbia Pictures.